I was talking with a customer yesterday, and he was asking about moon rocks. Mm -hmm. So I sent him out a sample of moon rocks, and he wasn't impressed with the packaging. Mm -hmm. And he says there's only a gram in there. I mean, some from some. Just sample. Just listen. And we'll, well, we sell it by the gram. Sure, you know, it's a gram. Yeah. So he got the package, and I said just. Just try this the moon rock. It's not going to be typical. I mean, you're going to feel something. It isn't just like some garbage hemp. We're using high quality, really high quality hemp. Yeah. Starting with great hemp. There's a lot of garbage. Right and there. then we have a solventless infusion. Yep. With Keef. Mm -hmm. So we sent it to him, and then he, like I say, he complained about the packaging. I said, just, just try it, and then call me back. And he, and he did. He called me back, and he says, hey, I love those moon rocks. They're really good. They're exceptional. But the packaging. Can you do something with it? I mean, we need to get, but we, well, we don't have packaging right now, right? So it's like, we, uh, so first of all, we've got the label designed. We're getting the labels printed out right now for the moon rocks. They will come in the reclaimed ocean plastic tubes, or not tubes, but the- uh, Show it to them. This one looks like. Yeah, it's basically it's gonna, nice. yeah, it's gonna come in that. They'll come in half ounces. Nothing I mean, maybe, I'm wondering if we had small ones I mean, would people, would people like buy, like maybe you get small moon rocks and put them you in one You may as well these? put it in one of those. Why do you need this big thing if it's not going to be filled? Well, I want this to pack. Well, uh, well, I mean, first of all, you want it to be packed. 14 grams goes in there, no problem. Mm -hmm. And I mean, these, is just, it comes back to, maybe it would be cool to have them in these, huh? May as well. That's not I think it's a cool pack. And then we answer our packaging problem right away. Yeah, and I mean, you could do it in the 14 grammers. Or you could buy it in like eights or something like that. And it's, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. I think, look, we, we, I think it's good for us to do like updates. Updates for uh, just the owls. I think we're going to do monthly updates, right? So let's touch on some of the products. And I know a lot of people have been waiting. I mean, labels, just so you get a, just a brief picture here, everyone. It's like, we're all juggling a lot here at once. And um, the, I would say that our, our biggest problem is honestly is with our timelines when it comes to packaging because it's like we have a designer designer does it designer sends it back to me or sends it back to my assistant we review it and then it's like okay well, we need to have a time or a second moment where we go over everything and then we need to execute on that but then it's like something always just comes up and then i'm like I don't know, I feel that we need to greatly improve on how quickly we get our products to market, but it is, uh, we just, we do things a little differently. It's like we, I mean, there's always an attention to detail, I'm a perfectionist. Mm -hmm. I wanna make sure that these products are excellent and the packaging needs to be on point and then we need to choose the size of the packaging and we need to take the measurements. And, you know, I would love if we had, I would love if we had somebody that was really passionate about this and wanted to do the marketing and the ordering of labels and mm -hmm. all of that type of stuff or just keep on top of me and being like, you know, making sure that it's done because... Um, so I'm packaging mean, expert. I mean, the, yeah. marketing and packaging. Marketing and packaging. Um, but basically we have the labels designed for this. They're coming 14 gram containers. We have four flavors right now. And... Uh, Let's get a window here. That's, that's what they want. They want to have a little... Clear no, because you know what it is? You know what it is? They want to see what's in there. But you know what? People say the same thing, but guess what? When people know quality, they don't need to see it every time. So That's when somebody, for instance, it's like, oh no, we need to see what's inside of it. I I'm mean, just you know exactly what's inside impulse buy for the smoke shop, it's an impulse buy. If a customer walks in and sees that, they're not going to relate to crystallized looking buds. They're, but if they see the bud, they will. But you know what though? Mm -hmm. They will see that with every other brand. And then when they see, oh, whoa, Owls has got moon rocks. They don't need to see. As long as they know we have a good brand. Or, or we can, yeah, they'll know that they'll know the brand and they'll know that it's got a good rep and that we have Just quality. put a nice picture of a good Maybe brand. Maybe put it, you know, that's also another one. Maybe we could put a picture on there. I don't know. We'll have to ask this customer what he thinks. Because he had some good insights. It was a good point. But he didn't buy yet, so he's not really a customer. He just received free He's sample. a wannabe. He's, he's, he's a, a wannabe customer receiver. right now. He's a receiver. receiver. They don't get as much value in their input as actual customers. Keep that in mind. <laughs> don't you agree? So, yeah, I do. I yeah, absolutely I do. Until you, until you make that first purchase, you're on the sample side. When yeah. you really, it's really when you make that first purchase that you come over and it's just a whole other, the relationship. whole other experience. It becomes whole. Yes. Full circle. Full circle. Reciprocal. What, so, what, yeah. other, what other stuff are we waiting on? The, 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 uh, the elixirs. I'm pumped about the elixirs. Yeah, I really I, I mean, the elixirs are over. 
the elixirs, they do need to take this amount of time because I'm telling you that no one has ever, I don't even see, I've never even seen a product on the market that has these ingredients in the, in the way that we do. And some of these products, we have to order some from Germany, some of the honey, it's like it is these are this, is a, this is a world wide ingredient product that is this going to be affordable is, for the common man or woman i mean i mean it, 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 no. i mean affordable is i don't know what affordable really means right how like, much will like, what's affordable are these affordable right in your opinion yeah, in your demographic as a some, white male who's earned x amount of money and, it's less than 100 bucks it's affordable Okay, so if it's less than 100 bucks affordable, that might not be the case for other people. That's for some people, it could be if it's 10 bucks, it's affordable. Well, I don't believe it. If people have put their priorities on their smoking and their weed. So I would say this, um, we're gonna try to make uh, all different types of options, but it is gonna be expensive. I mean, there's no, well, there's no way, it's like, you get what you pay for, right? When you, look under the, when you look under the hood and you see like, holy shit, like you look at these flex. ingredients, or it's like, Hey, well, I can get this one here. It's got some olive oil in it, and it's got some MCT in it, and it's got some cannabinoids. I mean, I could I could whip that up to this evening. So, I mean, the elixirs, and we've got fantastic labels. We've got the bottles already. We just need to finish the finalizing of the labels, and that I should put that at the top of the list. The elixirs, and then just waiting. Some of these are, orders are like a, a three, four, five weeks out. Um, they're really hard, like Blue Lotus extracts and ormus honey and just like stuff like that um the concentrates okay let's talk about the concentrates oh we give them a little peek we give them a little peek at some of this packaging for the concentrates okay so i'm just going to show you this this is the pretty box but this is the inside so we'll have our cam verify on the box that's right we have a box a box right a lot of people they just, again, quick, 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 quick. And uh, you know, it's like, yeah. boom, look at that. Boom, isn't that pretty? And we got them for the golden owls and some for the platinum owls. And so we got some sauce, got some really nice sauce. Um, and we've got some diamonds and we've got some hash and everything's child safe, of course. And yeah, we actually gave some samples of the hash out. We got some really good feedback on it. Um, need to just finalize on some testing. And uh, we're just about there with these. I mean, we we'll probably release these. We're gonna have a label that's gonna go around the side. And uh, we'll probably release these without the box. And then when the box gets in. Is it bubble hash? It is whatever. I mean, it's, it, it's a little bit of both. I mean, it's sort of, I like, to, depending on our infusion and how we do it, we can make it, have you ever heard of like squidgy black? Uh, that's cause you're not from uh, Europe. Right. But squidgy black was like this like black sort of very, like hash, we used to get like soap bar back in the day. And like a soap bar, it's like, you know, it's like a bar of soap and you'd actually have to burn it to, to put it into your joints. You'd burn it and then it would heat up and then you would do that. And then there was pollen, which was soft enough that you could, you didn't need a lighter for it. And then there was squidgy black that was like, you'd roll it into like a little worm mm -hmm. and then you'd put it in your joint. It was too sticky to really, uh, to take it apart. You wouldn't do it with a lighter. Was it a tar? Like it's a, not a tar, it's just, that, that's the name. So it's called squidgy black hash. Okay. So, so when I look at that, it's like, we could have different types of hash depending on the consistency or the infusion. If someone wants to have like, you know. A Damnable, more, I'm talking about hash rosin. No, I don't think you know, oh, come on now, Mr. Snob. What's well, the high Hash name. rosin, we got, we got a big rosin smoker here. No, this is not rosin, Tasty. I would not dab this. I would not dab it. It is gonna be hash, you can't make hash, hash you put rosin. in your joints. No, we can't do hash right. rosin. Not yet, not yet at least. Uh, Cause it, there's a lot of heat and pressure and I wouldn't know how we would do it yet. You'd need a fresh, uh, no, I'm just gonna say no right okay. now. I'm gonna say no to that. Uh, so that's on the, Concentrate side, uh, we've got some nice tinctures as well. The tinctures are definitely more affordable. And um, what's the difference between a tincture and, a, and an elixir? Uh, that's a good question. I mean, uh, so a tincture is typically something that is more alcohol based. Um, um, are you sure about that one? Let's look at that. No, that's, that is what, what it mean? is. That is what it is. But again, the definition is obviously some people say a tincture has MCT oil in it. I would say that for us, 
our elixirs are something that have an abundance of ingredients that is far more beyond anything that you could call a tincture. Wait, this is what I think. Is it possible an elixir is something that's digested in your stomach where a tincture can be absorbed through your salivary gland? Sure, sure. Yes, I think so. I, but I do think that, that the, the term tincture is, is used pretty often by a lot of different people for like whether it's MCT, it's like an oil. I feel like a lot of people think it's like an oil-based an oil based okay. delivery method. We've got the wise, we've got a few, we're just trying to, oh, we'll need help, we'll actually need help from the parliament about, uh, about what to, uh, about what to call these. Cause we're gonna call them like, one is gonna be, we're thinking like the wise owl, and one is gonna be another owl, and the other one's gonna be a different type of owl. Uh, and there's, there's three of the tinctures, and they basically are like, one is for like, almost like an aperitif after, after dinner you know you want to like settle your stomach it's got some cbg in there and yeah. it's just like uh and it's got some like uh fennel and if you've ever if you ever back in the day of drinking i mean you, i would have a thing called sambuca and sambuca was a shot that you typically have i think it's from greece that would settle your stomach after like yeah sort of like that but a little bit different it's, it's it's fennel is like the best way licorice that type of taste but again Oh, who is this? Maybe we can put them on. Who is this? Well, I actually got a great take. This is a sales call. Okay, go on. There you go. All right. <laughs> so, coming back to it, so we got three. So, we got, um, so one, as I said, is the sort of, we, we're calling it right now, like, digest and de-stress. And, uh, and that one is, is a, how do I, how do I put the flavor on this? But we basically have also infused We've also infused some of our, uh, we have some live resin CBD. So we've got those, those terpenes in there. And, um, and so we also have some CBG, some MCT oil, some fennel, some vitamin D, some mint. And um, like I said, this is, it's something that just makes your stomach feel good after, after you eat. Um, and then the next one we have is the wise owl. The wise owl is a focused owl. And, um, and that is working with more on the Delta 8, some CBD, uh, as well as some uh, Sarah Space Candy Live Resin. And then we also have some blood orange in there and some MCT oil and some uh, Silastrus. So again, what you'll notice with the tinctures versus the elixirs is the, the tinctures are like, Boom, 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 three, four, five ingredients, clear, simple. Whereas the, uh, the, 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 the elixirs are like a whole paragraph of like organic ingredients and stuff you've never heard of. Uh, and then after that, then we've got the, the owl sleep. But that's a night, maybe call that one the night owl. See, a night owl is like a contradiction a little bit because the night owl is typically like, I'm out and about, I'm a night owl because the owls are hanging out at night. So it's like, the upper would be the night owl. So I'm not sure right now, but uh, we have uh, then the sleepy owl. But a sleepy owl just sounds lame to me. So um, we've got some uh, live resin, some chamomile, some lavender, passion flower, spagyrex, and uh, we've got some spilanthus and some fennel and some glycerin and some CBN. So the CBN is, I'm not sure if many of you have tried it, but uh, it's something I, I tell you. I, I I start yawning very quickly after I've uh, after I've I've taken it. But so those again, we are just finishing off the label design for those. Really want to get that line released, and then I think that's really it for right now in terms of all of our uh, in terms of all of our new products that are coming down the line. And we definitely want your feedback on the names. Definitely, we'll probably do that over on the Ministry of Owls. If you haven't followed us on Instagram, please do that. And um, the Ministry of Owls is like our, it's like our back end. If you want to know more of the ins and outs of the products that we're releasing, doing some reviews, giving us feedback on the flavors, that type of stuff, you get all that information on the Ministry of Owls. And it looks like today we started with two, we're going to end with one. And that's going to be it for today. So thank you for watching everybody. We really appreciate it. And thanks so much. If you're not a customer of Owls already, I don't know what's holding you back. You've had a sample, you've tasted the gummies, you know how they taste, you know the effects, you know our pricing. How can I be efficient and just turn things over quicker? Oh, it looks bad. Just please let me know.